Having a run with your chicken coop is a really good idea, whether it's to keep your chickens safe from predators, keep them out of other areas of your garden, or even to keep a broody hen safe and isolated so she can sit on her eggs in peace. Today, we're gonna to look at this big walk-in version from Garden Life Direct. Welcome to English Country Life, my name's Fiona and together with my husband Hugh we're going to be reviewing this brilliant walk-in run from Garden Life Direct. And we live in the UK in a county called Lincolnshire and the great thing for us is Garden Life Direct are actually a local firm. And they have sent it to us free of charge but like everything we review on this channel there's no expectation of a good review so we're going to be completely honest today. What we're going to cover is how easy it is to put together, we're going to talk about the features and then we're going to talk about the pros and cons so you can decide whether this is a unit which is useful to you. Now it doesn't have to be just as a chicken run, you could use it for all sorts of things. You could use it for your dogs, you could use it for rabbits, it is incredibly useful. Of course Garden Life Direct have given us a discount code for all of our subscribers so keep watching for that 10% off discount code. But for now let's get started with putting the unit together. We started by laying all the parts out. The first piece to construct is the roof. All of the pipework used in the construction are hot dipped galvanised steel pipes of a standard diameter. So it's made easy because all these pipes just fit into the joint pieces provided and they're held together by bolts that have welded wing nuts on the end. It makes it very, very straightforward. Once the roof is complete, we can start adding the upright posts, but of course we're going to do this upside down to make life easier. The next thing to do is to construct the base. And a quick tip here is to actually put that together where you want the chicken run to be. This chicken run is designed to be a long-term asset, so it's going to be hard to lift once you've got it all put together. The next thing is to construct the door and the door frame. We found that taking our time really paid off. The door should fit snugly to the frame, but not so snug that it fouls the door. Now, if you need to, don't be afraid to plane a little bit off the wood to get it right. But once it's in place, that's the largest part of construction complete. The last stage is to add wire to the chicken runs. Full instructions on exactly the lens to cut are sent with the packages so nothing is left to chance. We found it useful to peg the lengths of wire out on the ground and use a tape measure to carefully get the right lengths. Covering the roof and the sides is easy because for every two metre length of the run, there's one length of mesh which is draped over the roof and down the sides. Fixing the mesh in place is actually really simple too because it's held in place by zip ties. Now the only recommendation we'd make here is to leave yourself a lot of time. It took us a lot longer than we thought it might because we wanted to make sure that the mesh was fitted tightly and there were no spaces so it did take longer than we thought. There's enough length of mesh sent with the run to ensure a generous skirt around the frame. Now you might wonder why that's needed, but the skirt should discourage any digging predators from digging underneath the run. The gable ends are also easy to fit. They're secured in place in exactly the same way using zip ties. The difference here is that the sloping V-shaped roof needs to be clipped to shape once the mesh is secured in place to the frame. Lastly, the mesh needs to be pinned to the door frame and the door before cutting around the door to allow it to open. We've had a look at us putting it together. What are my conclusions on the sort of build of it? Well, first things first, it's a two person job. You absolutely need two people. This is a big, heavy, strong item and it's two people to build it. Components, really robust. Look at this pipe. It's like mill and a half thick walls. It's like 40 odd millimeters across. It's like scaffolding pole. It's really, really strong. And it's hot dip galvanized. What do I mean by that? Well, galvanization gives you rust resistance on your steel. 
And there's two ways of doing it. You can effectively electroplate it, which gives you a thin coating, or you can hot dip it, which is five to 10 times thicker. So little scratches don't get through and let the steel rust. That's fantastic. We did note though, that obviously that can get in some of the threads where the bolts go. And we actually had to chase out a couple of the threads with a tap and die set. So that's the downside. But once you've done it, it's really strong. Weld mesh, similarly big, heavy gauge wire, really, really strong. This thing is going to last for years and years and years. It takes a bit putting together. You cut the wire to size as you saw, etc. So I would say, if you've got two of you, give yourself a couple of days, take your time. Build it where you want it, because again, big and robust, so heavy, and build it with the coupe on the inside, because lifting it up, once you put all this together, I think is a four person job with a person at each corner. It is strong, it is big, and if you're a reasonably competent, confident DIYer, you can definitely build it. So let's talk about some of the features of this Garden Life Direct walk-in run. Well, it comes in a huge amount of sizes. So the smallest is two meters by two meters and the largest is 10 meters by six meters. So you can choose the one that's right for you. There are three options in terms of covering it as well. There is a standard chicken mesh that comes with it, but you can opt to upgrade to either one inch weld mesh or half inch weld mesh. If you've got adult hens, the chicken wire or the one inch weld mesh should be more than sufficient. Now for us, because we're using it as a brood cook cover, we've gone for the half inch weld mesh because once Frankie has incubated her eggs and those chicks start to hatch, they are tiny. And we want to be absolutely certain the chicks are kept safe inside for the first couple of days before we introduce them to the flock. The wire itself is long enough so you can add a predator proof skirt on the outside so it can be extended out into the grass a little bit and that means that any predator is going to be deterred from tunnelling underneath and if predators are a real issue for you you can opt to add a mesh floor and that's also useful if you're not using it for chickens say you're using it for rabbits and rabbits clearly like to tunnel so to make sure that they stay inside putting a mesh floor in means that the rabbits are less likely to tunnel out. So what other options are there? Well, you might be wondering why I'm holding this giant green tarpaulin, but this is a covering for the roof if you choose to put it on. And this will give both rain covering so it will stop the chickens getting wet on the inside, but it'll also give sunshade, which on really, really sunny days is incredibly important. And we haven't fitted this yet, but we will do shortly. There are lots and lots of options there available for you though. So let's wrap up with some conclusions on the Garden Life Direct walk-in run. It's very, very, robust, big, strong, heavy components that are going to last you a good long time. Now that does lead on to the thought of it's a two person job to build it, build it where you want it and put the coop inside before you put it together because it's a heck of a thing to lift when it's put together. But if you're a competent DIYer with access to some really sort of basic fundamental tools, you can build something that's going to last a heck of a long time. And it really is a good strong bit of kit. If you decide it's the right piece of kit for you, use the link in the description below and use code ECL10 at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. There's a range of items there, so spend a bit of time, think about the wire you want, think about the size you want, get the right configuration for you. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. It doesn't have to be on the Garden Life Direct walking run. Anything you want to know about chicken keeping, small holding life, we'd be happy to hear from you. We love to hear from you and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can with an answer. If you've enjoyed today's video, then please spare us five seconds and give us a thumbs up down below. And if you'd like to see more from us, tap on that subscribe button, the bell next to it, you'll hear every time we upload new content. But for now, thanks for watching. Remember to use your code ECL10. Come back and see us soon. Take care.